Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. So here he is, folks. Do you believe this? Great Britain's finest, Anthony Joshua, making the walk to the octagon tonight. He's got a gold medal at home. All the boxing skills you would want in a future mixed martial artist. He's got the size, takes his time. Super methodical approach on the feet. And tonight, we will find out how his game translates to mixed martial arts. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in his fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Anthony Joshua. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Queens, New York, El Presidente. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of doctors in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. Whoa! Oh! Side control now. Oh, nice. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Tonight, he told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it, Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon.
So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Let's get to Bruce Buffer. He has your official decision. Dan Bergliano is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 35 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, El Presidente. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys. Sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. Thank you.